Here we are in Cannes. We can project 30, 35 millimeters. And we also can project HD tape. My chosen medium is film, and the things that I love most about it is the aesthetic that the image produces, the quality behind it. The anxieties that you feel on set when you're not, you know, 100% sure what's going to come out in the long run. Yeah, but on the same time, this overall production can become much less costly with HD. Because you can see exactly what you've done right on spot and even see the aesthetic of your film and instead of having the happy accidents that can turn into real accidents in post-production. So basically it's like you're telling me you, you like to control your date. Well, there's types of people that prefer to go online and search for dates and that seems like HD to me. I don't think the medium is going to change my attitude towards the aesthetic of my film, if you don't understand me. The uh, RED camera worked well for us in this as it gave us a lot of different looks a lot of clarity, and time factor involved in getting to be able to watch what you just shot. Then it's a question of money, it's a question of fashion, it's a question of uh, post-production. We have the choice and we don't have the choice because now more and more the, the power for the choice of the, the equipment, the, the way between the film and the data is uh, decided by the producer. I think we, we are, as a DOP, we are uh, losing power. Je travaille ici au Festival de Cannes pour euh, faire la couverture des noticières pour l'Espagne. Et je travaille ici avec euh, ce type de caméra. C'est bien pour moi. C'est le standard pour travailler avec les noticières. Where we, we don't have the power that we had before when we were designing light. So, you know, I think when you work with the red, when you work with the Dalza, when you work with all that new equipment, you cannot uh, fill your picture like we did before with the film. Before with the film, we were knowing our our uh, stock, film stock, and uh, in the choice after lab, you got what you were dreaming. See, for me, Alex, film is all about tradition and keeping tradition alive. Just last week I got the chance to see my father's Super 8 student films from years and years ago and it was incredible. Yeah, but ask this, was, is your father, if he was going to do this film now, was he going to shoot it on a Super 8 or on HD? Because tradition is a good thing, sure, mm -hmm. and you learn from it, but as time evolve, you can't just stick to tradition because if you stick to tradition, you would have to make love the first time after you got married. And that kind of sucks. I always love film, don't get me wrong, but yeah, when it comes down to, to time, um, there's, make no mistake, it'll save, this saves time. And it saves money too. But we have a very beautiful new tool for the post-production. So the way is to, to know better about post-production, to be very near the guys, people from the post-production. But, you know, I think we are, they push us a little uh, away. That's my uh, opinion. I mean, look at YouTube, for example. It's, digital content seems to be moving in this user-generated world. The aesthetic of filmmaking is that getting into the big screen, turning their lights go out, and you watch the lovely movie on the big screen. Even if it's on HD or film, I think we can agree on that one. And you could get into whatever car you want, whichever you prefer, and it's going to take you from point A to point B. And you're going to be on the same road the whole way. I just prefer to fill my car with film strips. Yeah, I prefer to fill it with HD.